Ryan Garcia versus Javier Fortuna. Eh, I'll take it, I guess. You know, looks like they're fighting at 140. I'm not sure if this is Ryan's new weight class or he just needs time to get back down the weight. I don't know. I haven't followed the buildup. Not that interested in this fight as you will soon see the real point of this video, but or one of them anyway, one of the main points. But, you know, even though this is five pounds north of where Garcia has been fighting as of late, he looks fit, he looks trim, he's a big lightweight. I mean, he's a welterweight easily, right? Uh, Fortuna, for his part, here we go, has basically eaten his way into 140 and he's old past his prime so I think Ryan's gonna be too strong provided he hasn't completely wasted his time and prepared for this fight properly he's gonna be too strong all around and definitely on the inside where Fortuna likes to do a lot of his dirty work right so if Ryan has the technique necessary to deal with that kind of a mauler you should be able to manhandle him right he's so much bigger and younger he should be stronger right we'll see but i think fortuna might prove a little bit difficult provided he's coming to win i think he is uh but ultimately we'll probably get stopped i think ryan will just have too much for him uh all that talk of ryan's chin yeah, well, this is 140 in it. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I think he'll stop Fortuna and... I don't know. I, I haven't watched Fortuna as of late because it's like, well, why, right? I'll say this much. Um, Haney ducked him, right? A uh, younger, slightly younger version of Fortuna. He ducked him. That was his WBC man deal. So, you know. Um, who's avoiding, who, who, who's really avoiding his WBC mandos, right? Who was? Yeah, anyway. So, you know, Ryan is a talented guy, um, for obvious reasons, for me anyway, you know, and, uh, but it really seems like, I, I'm not sure, this could be, it's definitely, it's definitely, Oscar De La Hoya's burden, okay? But it could also be, at the same time, a blessing. Look at Ryan's left nostril. Sorry, right nostril compared to the, to the left one, right? The right nostril is a little, a little smaller, right? A little... There's some asymmetry there, right? A little crooked. Now look at Oscar... <laughs> I'm going to have to back this up, I guess. Yeah, I mean... I could be reading much into it, and all of this resemblance could be coincidental, right? It could be. No doubt about it. But let, let's have a little bit of fun, because we know Oscar was a... You know... Well, still is. But definitely back in the day, he was a womanizer, a player, and... He's had a lot of uh, issues when it came to his, uh, oh, let's just say broadly, sex life. Right? There seems to be a little bit of asymmetry there with the left nostril being smaller than the right. Look at the bridge of the nose, right, between the two, two men. Right? Look at... The upper lip, right? I don't know if Oscar was born with the bunny lip or maybe it was a cut he suffered in one of his fights. I can't remember him ever being cut there. Um, Ryan, but there's that asymmetry there a little bit, right? Same with Ryan, right? That lip is a little raised. <laughs> Look at the shape of the head, right? Kind of square with that. You know, Oscar's older now. He's got these, he's working on these jowls, right? 
but they have the same kind of head shape, kind of triangular square, right? Look at the headline. Now, I know a lot of Mexican dudes have that kind of headline, but I mean, damn, look at that headline. And Ryan is, you know, same height, same reach, same weight as Oscar, right? I don't know. I don't know. Look at the way they're standing. It's it's like I don't know if you've ever seen those paintings of like a generational decline, I guess you would say, of the same person or not generational decline. Maybe um the aging of, you know, like a famous person or something. They they'll have these profiles or like a bust that just repeats, right? At different stages of of the person's life. And one image echoes the other, but it's ever so slightly different. And yeah. Come on, man. Really? Is this coincidental? I find it very, very, very hard to... like. Look at the neck, the shoulder line. The, it's just like... Huh. Go look at pictures of young Oscar de la Hoya. He looks like Ryan's brother, man. Now, I know you could see, like, some differences, right? Like, those ears. Well, yeah, that's probably from his other daddy, right? Bernard Hopkins. Um... Same with the cowardice, right? That's that's what he in inherited from uh, his other daddy. I don't know, man. Something about this this Ryan kid, like, it seems like a project, right? Like they're trying to force and make it happen. It, it's like you know, fathers pushing their their sons to be something that they don't really want to be. You know what I mean? That's kind of the feeling I get there. Um, while at the same time, you know, Ryan seems to think himself a, a chosen one, right? He was chosen to do this. So, is that another clue? Maybe. But, I'm kind of fucking around, kind of not really. Right? Just putting that out there. Um, yeah, I think, for now, for the time being... As promising as he is, as talented as he is, right, as naturally gifted as he is, I mean, shit, even the way he throws his punches looks like Oscar, right? Um, while citing Pacquiao as, his, as one of his favorite fighters, right, because he whooped on his uh, daddy, <laughs> whom he, you know, definitely has a love-hate relationship with, right? Anyway, um, maybe in some way, shape, or form, Oscar or maybe um, Ryan, too, were looking to maybe get revenge on Pacquiao, right? Oscar vicariously through his son, and then his son shat the bed, right? Asked for way too much money. Didn't want to do what daddy told him to, right? Now, most people will have these so-called um, nasolabial or smile lines, right? And they're a little bit there when it comes to Oscar. And, you know, it also happens with age as your, your cheeks puff out and, and you get a little fatter, right? Like Bernard, Bernard's are very pronounced, right? Like that line that goes from the nose to the lips, right? On both sides of the face. In Oscar, you can barely see them, right? Even less so in Ryan. Now, most people... We'll have them and, and pretty pronounced, right? So it's not it's not a common thing, right? High cheekbones. Okay, we're done with all the comparisons, right? Um, yeah, I think Ryan is Oscar's burden, man. It's like he knows he's got something there, right? He intimately knows it, right? He sees it. He right. He's they got the same genetics, right? Even if they're not necessarily Oscars, right? Which I think they are. They're they're very similar uh, 
genetics, right? They're naturally <laughs> they're like brothers, right? It's like a reincarnation. Hey, maybe it's a clone. Could be that too. Yeah, they took. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they took Oscars and uh, Bernard's man juices and and blended them in a in a test tube, and there you have it, right? Anyway, um. Yeah, this this whole project is still so forced, and this this AI in the middle, maybe it's it's waking up or something and and having ideas of its own. I don't know. Lots of speculation, tons of just you know drivel that probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you guys, but that's just kind of what I see here. I'm not that interested in the fight. I'll watch it. It might be fun, you know what I mean? But I see a lot of potential in, in Ryan. Like, tons and tons of potential. I just don't... I just don't think he wants it. Right? Sure, he wants the money, the fame, bragging rights, everything that comes with that. Yeah, he wants the lifestyle that daddy has. But does he really want to work for it? Mm, no, he's the chosen one, right? This is his destiny. This is Papa's legacy. This is, you know, super entitled. Super, super entitled. And ultimately, maybe he and his, you know, uh, who we think is his dad, maybe they got something over Oscar, right? Some kind of a handshake agreement from back in the day that, you know, hey, man, you fuck my wife, dude. So this is what we're going to do, right? I'll play the game, but you're going to make me rich, bitch. Is that it, maybe? And a lot of this stuff that I think Ryan is thinking is more subconscious than anything else? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Don't take this shit too seriously, right? Don't take it too seriously. But to sit here and, and tell me that there is no resemblance between these two? That they don't look like family? You fooling yourself. Anyway. Ah, uh, six round stoppage. Ryan Garcia. <laughs>